Good morning, Edwin. Good morning, Julia. How are you this morning? Really, really good. How are you doing? I'm well. I see you're wearing your koki hat, your koki crown. I am. I'm wearing my koki crown. And I see that some friends are starting to join us right now. I see two. They're koki friends. We haven't seen you, Albert, in a long time. How are you? Buenas, bienvenido, Albert. Hola, Alberto. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, wow. So we just want to let all our cookies know that we will be recording this session today, Edwin, okay? Yes, I think that's and a really great thing to tell people. Eh, estamos grabando la sesión hoy. Okay, perfecto. We're going to wait uh, like one more minute and then we're going to get started, okay? Si empezamos pronto, vamos a esperar un poco más a ver si otra, otras eh, cookies vienen para este, compartir con nosotros. Right, and today I wonder what we're doing today. What are we going to talk about? What are we mm. going to read? What are we going to read? What are we going to do? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, no sé. Dígame, dígame. I want to know. Are we ready to start? Okay. I'm ready. You ready? Okay, let's do it. Let's start. Hello and welcome to Cookie Club. We are so happy everyone is here. Welcome, welcome. Hola, we know, bienvenidos. We know so many of you have visited us at El Museo del Barrio and today Cookie Club gets to visit you in your home. Welcome. We are just starting. You're just on time. Um, we are El Museo en tu casa. My name is Julia. And this is? Hola, mi nombre es Edwin. Este, estamos muy alegre compartir con ustedes en tu casa hoy. Yep, we are. So we, I thought we'd get started. Edwin and I wanted to start by wiggling our fingers. Can you, cookies, can you wiggle your fingers? Vamos Stretch a mover las manitas out. y los dedos. Manito, manito, que tengo yo. Can you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle? Albert, can you wiggle? Show me how you wiggle. I've seen you. There you go. I've seen you wiggle. Can you stretch your arms up, Albert, and other friends who've joined? Up, 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 up. And then we're going to let our shrug our shoulders and move our head. And we're getting ready to start our coqui club by a little bit of movement. Muy bien. Great vamos job moving your body. También. Muy bien. Great job. So, our club is named after an amphibian, the coqui. Does anybody know what a coqui is? Does anybody know what a coqui is? El programa se llama como un animalito muy único. ¿Quién nos puede decir qué es el coqui? It looks like Jaylene has her hand up, Edwin. Okay, let's see what Jaylene has to say. Jaylene, what's a coqui? So I just wanted to share um, that today, we, I think we need some adult help um, to it's unmute. A frog. Oh, what? Jaylene, it's a what frog. Is, That's very right. It's a frog from Puerto Rico. Yes, it is. It's a frog from Puerto Rico. Sí, and does es, anybody? Es Sorry, una rana. También se llama un sapo. That's right. And. What do we like to do, everyone, before we start our cookie session? What are we going to do? We're going to? We're going to sing our cookie song. So today, I'm going to sing the cookie song once in English, and then we're going to sing it all together in English. And at the end of our session, we'll sing it again in Spanish. Okay, so the first time, I'm going to sing it. And here it goes. The coqui, the coqui so delights me. With its song, I like going to sleep. Every night when I lie on my pillow, the coqui says good night from the tree. Coqui, 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 kiki, coqui, 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 kiki, 
Now I'm gonna invite all my Koki friends and Edwin and we're gonna sing on the count of three. We're gonna sing the Koki song together. Okay, friends, okay? so we all want to unmute. So everyone unmute, that's right. On the count of three. One, One two, two, that's right, three. three. With its song, I like going to sleep every night when I lie on my pillow. The cocky says good night from the tree. Muy bien. Very good. I loved everybody singing Muy bien, amiguitos. That was amazing. And we're going to get to sing it again at the end. But, and today... Today, what we're going to talk about and what we're going to, we're going to read a book about a summer walk in a park and what we might see along the way. So I have a question. Can anybody tell me about their favorite park? Okay. Hey, eh, hoy vamos a imaginarnos que estamos andando en el parque. ¿Quién se imagina que encontrarían en el parque? So does anybody have a favorite park that they want to tell us about that they go to? Or if you don't, that's fine. We, we're going to read a book about a summer walk. Uh, Sandy O'Neill, can you change your name to, your, to the cookie's name? That'd be great. So we are, does anybody want to tell me about their favorite Insect or bug? Does anybody have a favorite bug? Do you have a favorite bug? Do you have a favorite grasshopper. bug? Grasshopper? What does a grasshopper do? Ah. <laughs> That's right. Jumpy, 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 jump, right? They so, hop. Well, yeah, if there's a specific friend you want to hear from, just let me know and I'll invite them to unmute. Perfect, Edwin. I will do that. So now our book today that I'm reading it's to a you, grasshopper. yeah, it's a, it, it is a grasshopper on the cover of the book. I'm glad you noticed that. I'm muy bien, amiguito. That's, that's right. So um, the book we're reading, the book that you can see on your screen is called Summer Walk. And it will have us thinking about all the things we notice as we walk through the park. Um, and I like to, Edwin and I like to think of it as like a hunting for treasure with our eyes. What do you see and what do you find? And later on, listen up everyone, later on we're going to ask you to go on your own hunt using El Museo Scavenger Hunt template that we are going to send your grown-ups. So let's pay attention to this book and then maybe that'll give us clues about what our scavenger hunt or one that you can create with your grown-ups will be like. Okay, should we get started? Uh, just in Spanish. El, yeah. el libro de hoy se trata de insectos que se encuentran afuera en los parques. Eh, se llama el libro Andar por, durante el verano en el parque. That's okay, right. podemos empezar, Julia. Gracias. Dale. Empezamos, Summer Walk by Virginia Brimhall Snow. I visited my Grammy one sunny summer day. As we walked along, I spied a ladybug, by the way. So on the next page, we are going to notice, what bug is that? Can anybody tell, tell us what color that bug is? Okay, ahora en español. Visité a mi abuela un día muy soleado. Mientras caminaba, vi una mariquita. Ladybug se dice mariquita en español. Mariquita. Did I say it right, Edwin? Yes, that's great. Mariquita. ¿Y qué colores está este mariquita? ¿De qué colores? ¿De qué color es? What color is the ladybug? Is there anyone that I should unmute that you think is raising their hand right now? I can't see I all our know. friends. 
I think, oh, you okay, I'm going to help you with that. So Sandy O'Neill has their hand raised. Okay. I'm asking Sandy to unmute. Rojo. Rojo. Did you hear that, Edwin? I did. Rojo. Rojo is red in English. Muy bien. Gracias. What else did you want to add, Sandy O'Neill? <laughs> is there anything else you want to say? What, else, what other color besides red? You got it. <laughs> You're checking that out. You're looking super closely. Yeah. What's the other color? Red and rojo and... Sorry. <laughs> well, okay. No, not at all. It's okay. Can we help you out? I'll say it in English and Edwin will say it in Spanish. Black. Red and black. In Spanish, se dice negro. Se ve negro. rojo y también se ve negro. negro. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Hey. So I, gracias. I, no, gracias a ustedes. So we're going to mute everyone back again. And I want to tell you all that did, I want a little fact about ladybugs. They're harmless to people, but they eat bugs that are bad for plants. I did not know that. Did you know that, Edwin? Oh, I did not. Mariquitas no pueden hacerle daño a los seres humanos, pero también se comen los insectos que destruyen las plantas. So they are super helpful. They are super helpful. And they are a symbol of good luck. So if they fly on top of you, that's a good luck symbol. Okay, we're going to go to the next page and see what we find there. Oh, my goodness. I showed Grammy a pill bug curled up in my hand. Soon he uncurled and crawled back to the sand. Enseñé mi abuela un chinche. Él se enderezó el cuerpo y caminó hacia la arena. So the pill bug is also called a roly-poly. And I thought, Edwin, we could do a little bit of a roly-poly movement with our body. Oh, that sounds great. So what we're going to do, Edwin, is we're going to curl in and ah, we're going to curl out. Vamos a encorvar la espalda como un chinche. Curl y después in, vamos a abrirlo de nuevo. And out. Yeah. Jaylene, I love you curling in. Albert, are you curling in and out? That's how, what a roly-poly, there you go. That's what a roly-poly does. Do we I want to do our hands too? Let's do our hands, Edwin. What are we going to do with our hands? Puedes encorvar las manos también. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, we're going to go to the next page. What's on the next page? Oh, wow. Fluffy white clouds made shapes in the sky, a dragon, a sailboat, and a pony. Oh, my. Las nubes aparecen como formas en el cielo. Toman la forma de un dragón, un barco, y un pony. So what I find so interesting, Edwin, is when I go on a walk and I look up, not only down, all, I can see what's in the sky or what's in the trees. So it looks like these boys are on a walk and they're looking up and sideways, right? Yeah, that's really exciting. One of my favorite things to do is to imagine what the shapes of the clouds look like. Right. So when our cookies go on their walk in the park, their scavenger hunt, maybe they might want to check out, look up and check out uh, the, the sky and write down anything that they see. Sí, es muy divertido mirar arriba al cielo y dibujar lo que ves uno. Sí. Exactamente, estoy de acuerdo. Okay, so what's on the next page? <gasps> mira, mira, lo que hay. It's a butterfly, Edwin. Se ve una mariposa. Una mariposa. I danced with the butterfly with blue speckled wings. She started as a small egg on a leaf in the spring. So can everybody show me how butterfly moves? How does a butterfly move? Yeah, that's right. I'm seeing people flapping arms. Ah, that's como right. se mueve la mariposa. Right, they're so delicate. And does anybody know how a butterfly life starts in the spring? How does it start? 
¿Conocen el ciclo de la vida de, los, de las mariposas? ¿Cómo empieza? Hmm, ¿Quién nos puede decir? Let's find out. La vida de las mariposas. Who do you think we should ask to unmute, Julia? I don't know. Does anybody have their hand up? And it's okay, because if not, we're going to learn. That's what we're here to do, to discover. Jay okay, is Jaylene well, raising her hand? Jaylene, are you raising your hand? Oh, or are you, are you floating like a butterfly? Hey, Jaylene, do you have anything you want to share? Mm. Yeah? A butterfly. A butterfly. A butterfly, that's right. So if we go to the next page, oh, Sandy. Sandy. Yes. Sandy O'Neill, you, you do wanted to say something about the butterfly's life? Yeah. Oh, not the life. Sandy? What does it start off as? Go ahead. Como empieza? Tell them, tell them. <laughs> How does it start? There's a clue on the screen. If everybody looks at the screen, there's a clue. Look right there. Si miras la Remember your favorite book? Puede ver. Okay, say it. They're waiting for you, honey. Um, say it. We're going to help you out, okay? It starts off as an egg. Empieza como un huevo. That's right. Um, yeah. And then what happens next? Edwin and I are going to tell you. After the egg, it Caterpillar. turns into a caterpillar. Caterpillar. From the egg hatched a caterpillar. It munched lots of leaves. Then my Grammy said, a green chrysalis she weaved. Should we see what happens after the caterpillar? In Espanol, caterpillar se Por dice corruga. Oruga. 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 Cuando abre el huevo, sale la oruga. Y después, mira lo que pasa. It gets into a special cocoon-shaped um, house, and it stays in there until it's ready to come out. Right? Sí. You see the... Oh, sorry, Edwin, I cut you off. No, está bien. Should we go to the next page and see what we find? I think that was a great idea. Oh, Edwin, look at that swallowtail inside so her. Beautiful. So beautiful. It's a different colored butterfly. Inside her tiny home, a great change was made. She came out as a butterfly on soft breezes she played. Ah, se escondió en un lugar seguro y se desarrolla en una larva y ahora es una mariposa muy hermosa. Y está jugando. She's playing the, that, 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 that butterfly. Do you all see the kids playing? What game are they playing? I think they're oh. playing, they're jumping over each other. Sí, para mí que parece que están brincando. Sí, a mí también. Should we flap our wings one more time? Like the butterfly? Yes, I love that. ¿Cómo vuela la mariposa? Así, Edwin, ¿Me pueden mirame. enseñar cómo? Sí. Así como Julia. Sí. Así. Let's see, Albert, can I see your wings? Vivi, can I see your wings? Ay, muy bien, Albert. Vivi, can I see your wings? Let me see your wings. Nice. There you go. Okay, what's on the next page, Edwin? Oh, this one is funny. You know what this bug is called, Edwin? And un chinche. Se llama un chinche. And in English, it's called a stink bug. A stink bug. A stink bug. Such El a funny name. El nombre chinche en inglés es insecto apestoso. Oof. What does it, when something smells bad, what do we do? We go, oof, stinky. Do you think we would do that if we saw the, this, if we came across this bug? We go, oof, stinky. El chinche apesta, oof. Ooh, and it really does stink in real life. It's sí. a way of protecting itself. Tiene un olor bien malo para que sí, nadie para moleste. Nadie. Okay, ¿qué vamos a ver en la próxima? Mm. What are we going to... Oh, okay. So this bug, do you see that bug? 
I kick stones and sticks. Wait, one's alive. It's camouflaged, Grandma told me. That's how it survives. Es, es, es el insecto de palo. Se ve invisible en la naturaleza. And you know why it does that? Because it's, it's a way of keeping itself safe. Camouflage. Yeah, Protege. Protege, that's right. That's right. Okay, on the next page, we see a snail, a caracol. Sí, vemos Bu un caracol. Yep, that's right. Bugs, bones are on the outside. Our bones are on the inside. Is that right? Los huesos yep. del caracol, él los tiene afuera. ¿A dónde tenemos los huesos nosotros? Los tenemos en... ¿A dónde? No se ven, ¿verdad? Our bones are piel. on the inside, right, everyone? Los tenemos Not on the outside. Del cuerpo, no afuera. That's so interesting. So next time we look at a snail, we're going to notice that its bone is on the outside. I never thought of that as the snail's bones. I know. I me thought of neither. it as house. I, me, I, I think maybe it's both, Edwin. Oh. Yeah. Okay, on the next page, we have... A mosquito, ah, a buzzing mosquito. A mosquito, Edwin. A buzzing mosquito landed weightless on my arm. Slap! Now it's gone and will do no harm. What do we do when we get across the mosquito? ¿A qué Can hacemos cuando me? nos encontramos con un mosquito? Porque así molestan y hacen mucho ruido, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo es el ruido que hace mosquito? ¿Quién nos puede decir, amiguitos? Who can tell us what noise the mosquito makes? Can you make the sound? I can make the sound. Jaylene, can you make the sound? What no. about Albert? Albert. Julia, what's the sound that it makes? Thank you for calling on me. The sound it makes is <laughs> Slap. We don't want it biting us. They're so annoying, right? Oh, so annoying. Super. Okay. There's another insect that makes a buzzing sound that we're going to discover on our following page. Ah, otro insecto. Esto, ¿cómo se llama en español? Hmm. How do you say this one in Spanish? Hmm. Does anybody know? I think, I think it, Sandy's raising hand. Will you tell us, Edwin? <laughs> ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo se dice? Abeja. Abeja, muy bien. Abeja. Muy Very bien, good. amiguito. And what does the abeja make that is so yummy and delicious? Hmm. Mm. Who can tell us? <laughs> Albert, do you know? What do you eat? What does the what es does the bee make? Es algo dulce que se come y está hecho por la abeja. ¿Cómo se llama? I see you speaking, Albert. Maybe you want to tell us? Mm. Albert, Albert, can you tell us? What do the bees make? It's very sweet and nice to eat. It's honey. It's honey. honey. Yes, That's very good, right, Albert. Albert. So nice so to see delicious. you. You have your crown. Yes, very nice. Yes, you have an old school crown. I see that. That's right. They make, and they also make the mos a similar sound to the mosquito, the oh. right? Hey, can, maybe we should ask all our friends to do it. Can we all unmute and go bzzz? Let's do bzzz. Can everybody go bzzz? Bzzz. It tickles your tongue. Does it tickle your tongue, Edwin? My teeth feel tickled. <laughs> nice. Oh, good job, friend. <laughs> Great job. Okay. The firefly. Oh, we firefly. 
Yeah, Firefly Edwin. We were almost home when the sunset, sunset blazed red. Grandma, can we catch fireflies before we go to bed? So that gives us a clue, Edwin, that fireflies come out at night. Oh, the firefly in Espanol se dice Lucianaga. I know, such a tongue twister. Y salen durante la noche. That's right. And fireflies glow is caused by a chemical reaction inside their bodies. And the glow is not hot. So if you touch them, you won't burn yourself. They're el, just... Sí, el cuerpo de los luciernagas se ilumina, pero no se pone caliente y no. So uno no se tiene que preocupar por, por los luciernagas. No, no te vas a quemar if you touch them. No. You won't burn yourself. They're just, that's just, a, they're just making a little light. And if you capture them, you can capture them like this girl in the picture, if everybody looks mm -hmm. at the picture. She's capturing the fireflies, and then at the end of the night, she lets them go, and so they drift back up into the into the sky. Sí, están capturando las luciérnagas. Okay, and then we have a cricket. So, do, crickets make a noise that sounds like a chirping noise, mm. and they do this by rubbing their wings together, and they do it. When it's hot, they do it even faster, and they make that ch -ch 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 sound. Sí, los, en español, cricket se dice grillo. Los grillos hacen, hacen este, un, un ruido que se dice chirrido, ¿verdad? Hacen el chirrido, chirrido cuando cogen las dos piernas y las ponen juntas. Can we all do that? Can we rub our hands together? And o see the noise. Las alas y las ponen juntas. Do you hear yes. the noise it makes when you rub your hands together? Oh, sorry, Edwin, I cut you it's off. A, oh, it's okay. Oh, I hear your hands, Edwin. Can you hear so my I, hands? I can. Do you hear mine? I do. Nice. Okay. And now you see the boys were waving on the last page and the crickets chirped us a song as we closed our day. Goodbye all the bugs, I wish I could stay. So the boys went on a nice summer walk and they found bugs from morning until evening. And the boys got, and girls. Sí, andaron los niños todo el día y encontraron muchos insectos. All along the way. So, today, for our activity, we thought it would be super fun to send you all on a scavenger hunt at one of your parks. And as you walk in the park or along the streets, you can check off. See, I'm hold. you can look at the screen or you can look at me, I'm holding one up. And as you walk through the park or on your street, you can see you can check off everything that you see. And we're gonna email this to your grown-ups. And you can print these out, or you can just even do it on your phone. Si miran a Julia, este, nosotros pensamos que sería divertido ir a una búsqueda de tesoros en un parque local. Puedes marcar todos los artículos que encuentras en la lista de búsqueda que vamos a enviar a tu adulto en un correo electrónico. So we can't do this activity right now, but we are going to send instructions how to do it. And we really want to find out if you, and know if you were able to find everything on this list. And you can also add your own things to the list. No podemos hacer esta actividad ahora, pero le enviamos instrucciones sobre cómo hacerlo con sus adultos. Nos puede mandar fotos por las redes sociales. That sounds like a plan. So, Cookie friends, the time has come for us to sing our song in Spanish. Vamos a cantar la canción del Coqui ahora en español. ¿Están listos, okay. amiguitos? Ok. Yep. Vamos a empezar contando en una, dos y tres. Empiezo yo primero y después cantamos todos juntos. El coqui, el coqui, el coqui, el coqui siempre, siempre canta. canta. Es muy es lindo, muy lindo el cantar el coqui. del coqui. Por, 
Por las Por noches, las noches a, veces a veces me duermo, duermo con, con el dulce, el dulce cantar, cantar de coqui. Coqui, 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 coqui. Ahora lo hacemos todos juntos. So let's unmute everyone. Everyone unmute. But one, two, three. El coqui, el coqui, el coqui, el coqui, el coqui, el coqui, es muy lindo, es muy lindo el, cantar, el cantar del coqui, coqui. por las por noches, noches me duermo, me duermo. Con, el con el dulce cantar del coqui, 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 muy bien, that was beautiful, everyone. Muy bien, todos. I love, we love hearing all those cookie sounds. So we want to thank you all for joining Cookie Club today. We hope you had a good time and enjoyed our lesson about insects and bugs we can find in our parks. Parents, please don't forget the census is here and it only happens every 10 years. It takes five minutes to fill out. Get counted now at 2020census.gov. For more information about upcoming events at El Museo, you can log on to elmuseo.org and follow us on all our social media accounts. Please, if you can, use hashtag Coqui Club or hashtag El Museo in tu casa. When posting pictures, we want to know if you found everything on your scavenger hunt. Padres, no se olviden llenar el censo. Solo sucede cada 10 años. Toma solo 5 minutos para llenarlo. Es muy importante. El gobierno utiliza el censo para determinar la financiación de nuestras comunidades en el año que viene. Hazlo ahora en 2020census.gov para obtener más información sobre los próximos eventos en el museo, busca información en elmuseo.org y sí, síguenos en todas nuestras cuentas de redes sociales y por favor utilice hashtag Coqui Club o el museo en tu casa al público a publicar los, las fotos y queremos ver, ver los tuyos en Instagram y en Facebook. Sí, that's true. So it's our time to say goodbye and adios. We love spending time today with you. I hope you all go on a nice park walk and notice all the bugs and the clouds, okay? Ahora nos despedimos, amigos. Adios, coquis. Lo pasamos muy divertido con ustedes. Gracias por venir. Chao. Adios. <laughs>